Starting with our humble beginnings over 50 years ago, FMN began as a single site flour mill in the port of Apapa. In the years to follow, we've grown to become the largest fast moving consumer food business in Nigeria and one of the largest in all of Africa. We're publicly listed and employ over 12,000 great people. Really, if uh, you look at the name, Flower Mills of Nigeria, it tends to anchor us in one dimension of wheat milling. And that does not today, you know, really capture who we are. We are a group of company, multifaceted, operating in many industries in Nigeria. And therefore, we have rebranded to be known today as FMN. Over 15 years ago, you know, we started looking inwards in order to develop locally produced raw materials uh, by acquiring a farm far up in Kaboji, Niger State. That was the beginning of our agro-allied uh, operations. Kaboji Farm in northern Niger State is one of our original farm holdings. It's 10,000 hectares split between maize and soya, and now more recently sorghum, so primarily grains. We have cassava growing there as well. It's a highly mechanized farm. We have uh, large spraying units, we have 16 um, combine harvesters, and a huge fleet of tractors. And um, it is one of the largest commercial farms in Niger. 2013, 14, 15 have been for me what I would call transition years towards a new, a different flour mill, a different FMN. This has enabled us to prepare the future. In the last few years, FMN has invested millions of dollars in its agricultural um, holdings and its agricultural businesses. This includes a number of different crop value chains. It includes our soya, our maize, sugar, rice, palm oil, um, all of these crops are part of the agricultural transformation agenda in Nigeria, which um, the government is uh, using as its green revolution for Nigeria. The idea of the agricultural um, holdings and our agri-allied business is to ensure that we are producing some of the raw materials to support our processing facilities and to ensure that our basket of goods, our food goods, is supported locally by raw materials that we grow partially ourselves and partially aggregate from other growers. We already have assets of over 400 million in this division, and that will grow to over a billion US dollars within the next five years. This is and should remain the largest agri-allied business in the region. This we have done and uh, continue to invest you know, very heavily in other value chains. For instance, we also have the maize value chain. The maize we produce locally, process it into animal feed, and uh, thereby supplying poultry industry. We also have the sugar cane value chain. Uh, this is part of the Nigerian sugar master plan, whereby we have to cultivate our own uh, sugar cane, crush it, and produce the raw sugar so that we can uh, have it refined into consumable sugar in our refinery in Lagos. So we have these value chains developing and we are investing not just in agriculture, but in agri-processing, thereby providing job and adding value to Nigerian raw materials. It is a full strategy which supports the golden penny basket of goods and sees it right from the farm to the fork we are supporting the nation in its food requirements. There are growth factors that we have identified. For instance, Nigeria is growing at the rate of about 3% per annum. That is adding about 5 million Nigerians every year. That is one growth factor. The second one is the fact that the GDP of Nigeria is growing at about 7%. What that means is that disposable income is increasing and uh, the demography of Nigeria 
is changing. We are building more and more the middle class. The statistics will say that there are between 30 and 40 cities of more than a million people in Nigeria. The fact that we have the Golden Transport Company distributing our goods all across the country, that has given us a competitive advantage. Because of our experience, we know the route to the market, we know how to navigate Nigerian roads, we know what problems and how to overcome the challenges in the environment that we operate in. This gives us a heads up and an advantage over any other business in Nigeria. As far back as 1972, we started the Nigerian Bag Manufacturing Company that supplies uh, bags, not just uh, for our own operations, but for the Nigerian market. We want our quality to flow through from the raw materials, which are of natural blend, to the, to the product itself and to the recipe itself. We want quality to be seen all through. And so that's what we have tried to reflect on our products. As for the support and logistics services, under this, we have the Apapa Bulk Terminals. Uh, because the federal government of Nigeria gave us a 25-year concession to run terminals A and B, which is bus one, two, three to five at the Apapa Boards. We use this to bring in cargo worth three million metric tons per annum, uh, servicing our own uh, imports and also the third party imports as well. The significance of the port to the entire organization is, uh, cannot be understated. Because Fly means is committed to good corporate practices and procedures, which will be in line with global practices. In other words, we try to conduct our, our business in a fair, honest manner, transparent manner, and with a high level of integrity and ethical standards. The code is very important. Not only from our own point of view, it is a requirement of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. The Nigerian government expects a lot, expects a lot from companies. When we go to negotiate business in government, even we are now proud to carry our annual reports and other documents which show clearly how involved we are. We are putting smiles on the face of the community members. We are involved in Sunti. We are involved in uh, Kaboji. We constructed new classroom blocks. We equipped the hospital, a maternity center. This is a highly competitive environment. Everybody wants to be here because the opportunities are enormous. Last year, we managed to increase our sales of pasta by 20%. This is already in a, in a, in a big category. The vision of FLAM is, is to be the leading food company in Africa, uh, of course, starting with Nigeria. What that means is that we want to provide for consumers of all age groups. And we want to provide for consumers from waking up to the time they go back to sleep. That means we are looking at all the food points and food opportunities to provide affordable and quality nutrition for all classes of Nigerian consumers. The company will position itself to become a value-adding company for not just the customers, but also consumers for employees and all the shareholders. And of course, FMN will stand for a mark of quality and innovation, leading people in this dynamic environment towards a goal of becoming the leading food company on the continent of Africa. We've invested over 160 billion Naira, or $1 billion over the last five years. And we will be investing over another 160 billion Naira, or $1 billion over the next three years. With all of our current and future investments in our industry and in our people, FMN is positioned to be the leading food group across the continent of Africa. We follow through on our commitment as a company that feeds the nation, and we strive to put a golden penny smile on all our customers and all our stakeholders' faces.